We're here today at the Scar Audio headquarters doing another amplifier dyno test with the SMD81 amplifier dyno, which we have set up right here. We're going to get to that in a second. Today we're going to be doing an amp dyno test on the Scar SK1500.1. This is the packaging for it. Brand new, brand new amp. We just pulled it out of the box. We have it wired up here in the back of the Scar Audio Escalade. That's where we're going to begin our, uh, our battery bank to power it. As you can see, the amplifier dyno is plugged into the power and ground inputs of the amplifier. That's where it's drawn voltage from. And then we have the, uh, of course, the speaker outputs, which are going into the, the 81 and, and reading the power, which is how it dynos it. And then we're getting the signal from the deck up front, which has the SMD CD in it. We're going to be using track one for this. We're going to be doing a dynamic power run. The SCAR SK1500.1, we've gotten a lot of customer feedback since getting the, the amplifier dyno here. We're the only other ones besides Steve, I believe, who has one right now. Um, don't quote me on that, but but the serial number on this is too. So uh, a lot of customers have been asking us. They saw Steve do the video on the Sundown SAZ 1500 and, and the results he achieved with that. So we're going to basically uh, more or less mirror his video of the runs he did. He did dynamic runs, so that's what we're going to do here. Let's go ahead and select dynamic power run. Click enter. Next, we're going to click mono. Our jumpers are installed, so we're going to click next. And just like Steve did, we're going to start with a uh, 0.8 ohm load on this dynamic power run. This is going to test our burst power and see if this amplifier can live up to the standards. We're going to click enter. And now we're ready to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click start, and then we're going to unpause track one up front and see what kind of results we get. There you go, it's running the test right now. And it looks like the test just completed. Wow, very solid number. We're at 1,824 watts. If you notice here, at the 0.8 ohms, we're only at 12.42 volts. I believe uh, when Steve was doing his test video, which is, uh, you know, gave us a lot of insight into using this uh, this machine. By the way, awesome videos he makes. He uh, he was at a higher at a higher voltage with that Sundown 1500, and they uh, I believe got a little over 1600 watts at the uh, 0.8 ohm load. We're sitting here at 1824 on only 12.42 volts. So um, you know, very impressive number. I'm gonna go ahead and write that result down over here. 1824 at 12.42. So that's the SK1500.1 putting out tremendous power at the 0.8 ohm load. We're going to go back here, select load impedance. We're still on the dynamic run. Next up, we're going to match it up to the 0.5 ohm load. We're going to click enter. Okay, so again, we're at a 0.5 ohm load. Dynamic power run. We're going to click start. We're going to unpause the track. just about done. Wow, so it looks like we got 2,290 watts. Very impressive at the half ohm. And you notice here again, we're only at 12.3. So, 12.3 volts, almost 2,300 watts. 2,290 watts at 12.3 volts. So those are the exact same two tests that you guys saw in Steve's video on the Sundown 1500. And um, I'm going to go inside and uh, watch this video one more time and see what the results they were able to get out of that amplifier uh, versus the SCAR 1500. But I believe it was uh, 1600 on the Sundown for 0.8 ohms and then on 0.5 ohms it was around 2000, 2006, just, just over 2000 I think. And we're at about 2290 at the half ohm. So. Overall, very successful video, very successful dynamic power runs on the SCAR 1500. Again, we have the 81, which is made by SMD and Tony. Appreciate you guys hooking us up with that. We got the SCAR 1500 here. You can see it wired up right in here.